waiting so today I'm gonna be showing you how you can make something like this this is basically an uh, O'Neill cylinder space station thing whatever you want to call it and you can actually walk all the way up there if you want to now this is basically just a little introduction video in it in itself it's not a tutorial per se it's basically just some means to show about how I did it and as you can see here, most of the, basically all of these models here are placeholders in themselves. And that's basically what we're going to be showing you how you can set this up. Now I will have to say that I'm using a few different uh, plugins, like for the ground here I'm using the Brushify uh, landscape texture. And the ability itself to actually walk around is controlled by this little spacey thing here. And that is basically something called directional gravity for physics and movement now this is basically just what i'm using and there may be other ways that you can use it if you have your own gravity set up but i'm just using this because it works for me now so basically what we're going to start with here is yeah I'll basically show you all the steps here we're going to start with uh, uh basically showing i'm using the the legacy layout here because i don't know how to use the new one and you can enable this by going to the editor preferences, type in legacy, and enable legacy editor mode UI if you want to. Now let's create a new level here. It's default. First thing we're going to do here is clean it up a bit. Let's create a new folder. Now this is basically just to clean up a bit. Now what you're going to need to do now is go into the world settings and enable world composition. And there we go. Let's just save the level here. And there we go. Now what you need to do now is basically drag and drop in the, the module itself here. Let's see here where it is. It's this one here. And there you go. It's not really that big. We're gonna fix that to 500 by 500 and put it into 0, 0, 0. Same just for making it easier. Now what you will need to do next is basically uh, if you have a placeholder mesh or something like that, like I do here, you basically drag it in here, put it into 0, 0, and 0. Just make sure you got the, see the difference here is a bit difference in size is a bit different. Let's put it into 750, see how that looks. Uh, 1250, whoops. There you go. Probably see this one is actually going in the wrong direction. So you can basically just uh, turn this one around here 90 degrees. Uh, this one here is as mentioned a uh, placeholder self and it's basically just to show you how it can actually be done by copying it you can like this and so on and so forth and you can actually run all the way up but this is basically controlled by the gravity volume itself uh, this is a, not a default one that comes with the plugin itself but it is something you can actually adjust itself, yourself if you want to. Now this is basically just the basic setup. Like you can move all of these all the way around here if you want to. But we are going to be doing something else in the next video. And that's uh, basically just showing how you can actually add terrain to this.